8.10, listen to the audio, then write each noun in the correct group. So you have these nouns, and they're either going to be in Tom's bag or Sarah's bag. The first one is done for you, and Tom's bag has sandwiches. So you're going to write one, two, three more in Tom's bag, and you have four more for Sarah's bag. Tom and Sarah are packing their bags and getting ready to go to work. Hurry up, Tom. We're late for work. Oh, all right. Let's get our things. So this purse is mine, but these sandwiches are yours. Yeah, they're my lunch. And this is my cell phone. Okay. And your ID card is here, too. These are your books. Oh, yes. And this is your chocolate bar. And that brush is yours. And this is my notebook. Great. Well, I think that's it. Have a nice day. You, too. See you later. All right, you can pause the video if you need more time to write the answers. When you come back, I'll show you the answers. Here are the answers for 8.10. Tom's bag has sandwiches, cell phone, ID card, chocolate bar. And Sarah's bag has purse, books, brush, and notebook. This is the last lesson for student book level 1, unit 1, Lesson 8. 8.11. Use the chart to create 12 correct sentences and say them out loud. So the first one is done for you. You take one word, start with one of these determiners, then one of these, choose the singular or plural of to be to match. So this has to match this. Choose a determiner or name, my or Bruno's, and finish with one of these nouns, books, dogs, or brother. The first one is done for you. It's those are my books. Now make 11 more sentences. Go ahead and pause the video, and when you come back, I'll play the audio. Let me go ahead and play the audio, and that way you can practice speaking. Those are my books. Those are my dogs. That is my brother. These are my books. These are my dogs. This is my brother. Those are Bruno's books. Those are Bruno's dogs. That is Bruno's brother. These are Bruno's books. These are Bruno's dogs. This is Bruno's brother. All right, and let me go ahead and show you the sentences. In 8.11, these are the correct sentences that you should have written. Make sure all your sentences start with a capital letter. All your sentences end with punctuation mark. And this is, and make sure you have the correct spelling. So this is 1 through 10. You can pause the video if you want to check them. And then I'll scroll down so you can see 10, 11, and 12. All right, we'll see you to do the workbook exercises.